It's the Pesto Pod, the Pesto Pod, the Pesto Pod. Did you start already? Yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> A little ASMR. Hot. I'm wet now. I don't know how people, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get the ASMR thing. They're like... <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to the Pesto Pod. My name is Julia Leahy. You might know me on TikTok as MR Pesto Boys. And today I'm joined with local funny woman, Amanda Lynn Baez, everybody. Hello. Woo-hoo. Cheers. Thank Amanda, you. who I know because <laughs> she was my boss last year. <laughs> I totally just like forced her to have me on here. Introduce yourself. Okay. <laughs> I'm Amanda Lynn Baez. I do stand up all around New York City and recently internationally and just Work in film and TV. That's pretty much all I do. <laughs> fun employed. I'm, I'm, I am fun employed. I <laughs> love it, bitch. The fuck? Like, if there's no gigs, I'm like on that ny.gov, like getting paid for She's doing, doing nothing. What she needs to do. Uh, yeah, to um, live here. Geez. But I know Amanda because I was an office PA intern last year for like six months yeah no, and Amanda was, was my boss and I did not like it one <laughs> bit I <laughs> but was you really me. bad That's at it I you loved you me. the only reason I showed up if you didn't work there I would have faked an accident <laughs> and pretended that I could <laughs> never died. go again wait I actually brought you a little something uh because of the theme today and just I don't know it's it's little don't, don't act like it's like an iPhone chill it's is it just another four loco? I just Shut up. I, my grandma gets me these. <laughs> my grandma buys those for me. <laughs> these pesto. I f- when I went to Germany, I like Nor. I love Nor. The pesto. Are they it's in so. F- oh no, you got them here. No, I got them here. Unfortunately, <laughs> sorry. Thanks. Um, I'm gonna use these. Not even ironically. They're so good. I'm gonna you you, you use dinner. them. Your grandma. Yeah, I do. Fuck yeah. My grandma gets these for me, and then when I go over my grandma's for dinner, she makes them. Oh yes. <laughs> I also like, s- I made you your special pasta. <laughs> the love pesto. her. Oh, it's so what good. A fucking win. Thank you. You're welcome. What a, that's a good gift. No, what, people need to start bringing me gifts more. The only other guest, do you know Vin Ward? He's a comedian. Yes, I know of of them. Yes, of him. Yeah, he brought me this br- blue raspberry for a long ago. I'm dead. I might <laughs> drink I said, that. Just need, letting you know. I need more housewarming gifts. You do. I I'm like here. I I I love your apartment. It's so cute. It's so on brand. It's a bunch of quirky shit, Drunk. and I just want to. Buy you more quirky shit like I a mean, sugar I'm mama. Twist my arm. Yeah. Um, I like to start the pesto pod with something I call the pest story of the week. Okay. So What's that is when I share uh, the embarrassing whack assery of my life as of late. Um, but also you you share. I as do well. too. You do. Okay. I, I, do you yeah. need like a second to think? No, I think okay, my life's crazy for me to. Oh, do I go first? Sure. Or? Oh, um, <laughs> sorry. Oh, so I didn't <laughs> prep you like I do to other people. I just Wait, was like, so shut up at my house at this time. So I just go ahead and tell a wacky dee doo da kind of story? Or like yeah. That? Like, like, yep. Um, okay. <laughs> 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 no, I love this. Um, about a week ago, I met up with my cousins. Um, they're, they're from here, by the way. Well, I'm from here, New Jersey, here, whatever, New York, New Jersey, by whatever. Anyway, um, I was with my cousins and she was, we were just talking about Thanksgiving, which I believe is the topic of this episode. It's the topic because this episode will be coming out the day after Thanksgiving. I love it. Love it. On Black Friday. Black Friday? Oh Rip. my God, that should have been the topic. Rip. We can do both. <laughs> we can start to touch the same thing. Um, we were talking about Thanksgiving and I was like, you know, I don't really like the meaning of the holiday. My cousin's like, oh my God, I've been trying to tell my mom that, my aunt. And she's like, you have no idea. This bitch was decorating the house with the corna, what's the corna? Co- cornucopia. The cornucopia, which is cute. <laughs> okay. Cornucopia. But she's like, she laid out the fake like little turkey. Then she laid out the plush. Um, what are those colonizers? The pilgrims. <laughs> <laughs> she started pilgrims. laying out like the plush pilgrims <laughs> like these little white plush dolls and my cousin's and like and then she whipped out plush native <laughs> americans <laughs> no no oh, no yeah. not even them can you believe that why weren't they at uh, the just, table like, battled them uh, together on the yeah. table um no my cousin just threw them out she was like why are you do you know the meaning of she's like you know what i'll just buy you something new on amazon so just no, <laughs> no yeah no for, pilgrim plushes for, um fully acknowledging the horrific origins of this <laughs> holiday it uh, that being said it's my favorite holiday <laughs> is it the food the food yes, it's the best food the i look forward to it like for weeks listen i i'm puerto rican so we yeah, what is your what's your 
what's your thanks sorry I no, it's okay interrupted you. no 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 you're you asked me questions i mean i was gonna say like we're super americanized especially like new yorkans here so we just our thanksgiving obviously we have the the white people shit you know like the turkey mm. the yeah, mashed potatoes but we add our little like pizzazz you know what i mean like when it comes to like the you t- actually season things? oh yeah it's more What's than just like? salt miss um it's like adobo or garlic <laughs> like we just rub the shit we bathe our turkey and all the seasonings in our cabinet and um yeah that and then we have the rice and beans you know because oh got, do you we do we add that's just like maybe one no, we do the rice and beans and the pedneal, which is like pork shoulder. Ooh. But then we have like the typical like, okay, you got the turkey, you got the... Like stuffing? Yeah, we have stuffing. We do stuffing. You know, we do the normal stuff, but then we add in our little, you know, pizzazz. And then we have our cousin bringing mac and cheese. Uh, do you have mac and cheese at yours? We actually don't have mac and cheese. Oh. I feel like that needs to be an add-in. Yeah, you know? we have a lot of beige foods. So I feel like adding another beige food to the mix is not necessary. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, wait, before we get into Thanksgiving, I have to share my pet story that I wanted to share. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I'm it's sorry. It's not Thanksgiving related. So, <laughs> quick detour. This is, <laughs> this is going to be a fucked episode. Um, this is not related to anything ever. It's just what happened to me last night, and I want to share. I wa- Do you watch true crime at all? I Yeah, I do. When okay. I need to go to, yeah. I watched the documentary <laughs> Take Care of Maya. <gasps> Oh my God! Yes, that have you girl seen in it? Florida, yeah, it's. Uh, I didn't see the whole thing, but I just saw a bunch of on TikTok, TikToks yeah. and did my research. I I'm watched like, oh, it, shit. and it was the most gut wrenching, horrific, horrible thing I've ever seen. And I, I, I literally watched like m- people get murdered for fun on a Friday night. But this, <laughs> like, broke I need to take me. you out. I this, <laughs> this, <laughs> I know, I really need to get out of the house. <laughs> this absolutely broke me, and I finished it at like maybe like one or two in the morning, and I called my mom and woke her up, and I was like, I you like i had to tell her <laughs> that i loved her she was like stop calling in the night <laughs> she like, was so you know over I'm sleeping it. you asshole she was like literally has i have work tomorrow and i was like i need to hear you say that you love me <laughs> i like made her <laughs> confirm <laughs> but um yeah it's really really gut-wrenching <laughs> um yeah it's pretty sad i mean i still need to watch the whole doc but um um, sorry for julia's mom <laughs> you know having them but then we talked for like mom. an hour I, oh, she till three it. in the morning. She's like, <laughs> she's such a queen for that. And that that there that uh, this is the segue to family Thanksgiving. Family. Do you see that segue? I, I just love did? that segue. Thanks. I just hop. I just put my foot on your neck and was like, let's talk. Let's talk about Thanksgiving. No, we have a system here at the Pesto Pod. Yeah. I realize that when I have people on the Pesto Pod, I send them a Google Doc of like the structure of the pod, and I did. Not you do absolutely that for you. did not. No. You were like, we're talking about Thanksgiving. I said, come, come over, over at three. <laughs> <laughs> literally at 10 p.m hey you free tomorrow just come i'm like okay I, i'll be there. and you did so who's the real who's the bitch you're the bitch well i'm <laughs> i'm the mvp hun you are you are you're saving my arse i am um here's what we have at my family thanksgiving first of all how many people are at your, are at your family thanksgiving um i want to say oh god hispanics love fucking having a party like it's not it's never anything intimate is it like friends of friends of friends yeah sometimes i'm like who the (laughs) fuck is what's your name again like i don't never remember um that's fun no it's great it is like a party but there's moments where i want to have just something chill like let's you know watch a movie after but no my family wants to take body shots off of (laughs) my mom or my cousin and it's just like too much i love that though it's different but this year i'm actually going to liam's liam's my boyfriend um shout out to liam um shout out to liam (laughs) his uh his family lives in dc and they're so calm oh you're going for thanksgiving yeah i'm going for your first time ever this is my second okay this is my second time i didn't go the last two years um but i'm going this year because i'm like i need a break um from (laughs) my fam um no i love them too but i wanted something you know i want to be somewhere else and dc's cute dc's so cute they're chill and they're also like oh fuck thanksgiving they're like kind of hippie-ish and they're gonna have indian food for thanksgiving i'm like whoa fuck yeah i'm gonna kind of miss the turkey i hope um it is thanksgiving (laughs) is so fucked i i (laughs) 
in my Catholic elementary school, mm-hmm. we used to they used to divide the class up and like half of the class were pilgrims and half the class were Native Americans and we had to like act out like you guys sh- have weapons. Sh- you guys yeah, like, oh. we had biological <laughs> warfare. No, <laughs> we had plague. Come blankets. in boats. Yeah. Like one came in boats, the other one was like we had to like grilling up a act salmon. it out and like shake each other's hands and then like break bread together. And then you know I didn't learn too oh much older my. that Wait, that's this not how play. it went down. This it was not like a play. It was like a weird like they no there was no audience but we still had to act <laughs> it out. Did it together. I Hey, uh, visual learning. I like it. Visual learning of an event that did not take place in yeah, the way that it, they have it, described it. It was more like a armed robbery kind of vibe. Yeah. Oh my god. Like how did you just apologize in the end like we're sorry? Like, we're sorry for wiping you off the face of the earth like what? <laughs> Horrible. We're binded blood now. We're a family. I wonder if elementary school kids still learn like that story. I, yeah, I'm curious to what the new... Because when I was a kid, honestly, learning that stuff, I always thought, you know, I mean, I grew up all... I, I was an army brat, so I grew up all over the place. But in Jersey, when I was living in the sticks at one point, the suburbs, pretty much, um, I don't know. They just made it seem like they were the saviors, in a sense. Like, the people coming Oh, well, to no fucking shit. Right. Of course no, gonna, but then I thought, like, oh, white that. people are great. We're stupid. Brown people are just weird. We need help, I guess. Like, they just... True. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and then as I got older, I was like, wait, this is horrible. How did they brainwash me? I know. And everyone else. Um, but, yeah, I'm hoping they are teaching them the new... Not even new. The real the thing. The <laughs> It's not new. It's the, real it's the oldest trick in the book. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. Terrible colon, col- colonialism, yeah. colonism, colonization. Col- yeah. Imperialistic holiday. Uh, however, white people have now morphed it into a delicious uh, <laughs> fucking smorgasbord. A nice Borg, little feast. Smorgasbord of beige foods. And I'm not. <laughs> listen, it's horrible, but I take what's put in front of me and I eat it. I mean, I love food. I me mean, too. it keeps me <laughs> moving, you know? <laughs> it sure keeps Got me, me here. Moving. I had a nice little hummus shake before I got here. Yeah, you did. Hummus. Hummus. It was really good. Um, yeah. My Thanksgiving, I have a pretty big family. We have three turkeys. Damn. Are they all made differently? Yes. <gasps> one is Ooh. baked, one is smoked, and then one is deep fried. Okay. So the deep fried kind of, I mean, sounds really good, but the videos kind of scare me. There's uh, always a firefighter involved. Uh, um. there's, yeah. Because, <laughs> because people put their frozen turkeys in the deep fryer. Oh, what idiots. Which is not how that's supposed to defrost go. Defrost it. But how long does it take to defrost that I big ass I don't make bird? the rules. I don't, make, <laughs> I don't know the rules. Um, my favorite is the smoked. I really like to smoked meat. Smoked and cured meats are the way to win me <laughs> over. Um, and then we also do like stuffing. We do mashed potatoes. We do sweet potatoes. We do broccoli casserole, which I could literally Ooh, shove up my oh fucking. Oh my god! It sounds like arse. I'd be in the bathroom with that. No, Is yeah, there blood but dairy? in a great way. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, my favorite is is like mashing it all into one like entity and then pouring gravy on it and eating it right, just like with your fork and knife just <laughs> mushing it and playing with your yeah food. like people like, the, like building a mountain like those ice cream people who have the f- the cold <laughs> like oh they roll the cold plate and then they roll, roll it <laughs> yeah that's me but with <laughs> gravy planning out and rolling it up making a little <laughs> that's funny um no i don't like i don't like go crazy and like mix it all up and get weird but yeah i don't i i mean i don't mind if my food touches but like i don't want it no, no. As like a no, it's not mash. Like a soup. A mash. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't mash it. And then, um, in the last like maybe like five years, I've really embraced the why the fuck are we dressing up for this holiday? It's a holiday where we're gorging ourselves. Let's just like all hang out in Let's, sweatpants. Yeah, no jeans, please. Um, no or jeans. stockings. I don't know what. Was I don't know. Like cut to thirteen year old me in like a mini skirt and tights and heels. And right. Being, like I'm gonna turn tricks. Go to my at aunt's house. Fucking, <laughs> my aunt's house right now. Yes. Yeah, stupid. Right. No, I'm wearing <laughs> I'm wearing PJs, honey. I am in a hoodie and dessert. Dessert is my thing. Dessert. Dessert my is my thing. Why do we only eat a certain thing once a year? Like pumpkin pie. Are you referring to pumpkin pie? Yeah. I'm, I'm an apple pie kid. You okay? Yeah, I was trying not to burp <laughs> in the mic. <laughs> you can. It'll, <laughs> it'll be good for the ASMR. <laughs> Let's say you could choose what the Thanksgiving meal is, and it doesn't have to be turkey. Ooh. What's your meal that you would like to eat mm. with your friends and family? Oh, God. <laughs> I love 
German food. I love German food. Schnitzel? Schnitzel, spetzel, spetzel. und like cucumber salad. Like I just love meat, meat, meat. I love dead animals. <laughs> um, no, no. Meat, meat, meat. No, I can live without eating meat for a day. Like, uh, but I do love German food. I feel like I do like the schnitzel and the spetzel. And the I love sh- when I had schnitzel for the first time. Mm, just Because you summer. were just there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. It changed my life. Oh, my God. I had veal and chicken schnitzel. Yeah. Oh, both amazing. Yeah. Veal, I kind of feel bad when I eat it because I'm like. I felt kind of bad too, but it, man, it was tasty. I'm like, <laughs> you're a good little baby. Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> true. Heard, <laughs> but it was so tasty, delicious. You know, it's a, you know, it's a baby, right? It's a baby. It's like a baby straight out of like I was know. just born. And it's so horrible. Good. But it's really tasty. I know. Oh my god. I, I vegetarians are gonna fucking. I think I could be vegetarian <laughs> if I like really, really put my mind to it. But it's the fact that I eat. I'm like a kind of a picky eater as it is. So it's like I might you as well. Are, I, I need I, I my sh- meat. I try to force you to drink coquito. And that's a drink in the holiday season that you love it, though. You I was going to say, I don't know what planet you're living on. Because <laughs> you made me drink that coquito and then I down. Like, I, that <laughs> you is were the like, best. what is this? No, I'm, I want the recipe. I'm going to make it. <laughs> I should make it for my Thanksgiving. Yes. Yes. What's, what's coquito again? It's coconut. It's coconut and like condensed milk. Oh, it's just but like it this my is butthole. this is why a lot of Puerto Ricans are like diabetic. Like we just because consume uh, we like consume so much like sugar and salt, but it's worth it. And d- you made us all have the coquito, and then Emily asked you for the recipe. <laughs> at Emily home. made it like five times after. <laughs> Emily's another girl we work with. Yeah, uh, and shout out Emily. I love you, Emily. Emily. I love you. Miss her the most. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you don't know you are the only person i have kept a contact i was like when Julie, i left that company <laughs> when i left i remember like several people were like we'll see you we'll see you around and i went no you won't <laughs> you'll never see me again <laughs> what, what, there was a day where i was just like she's gonna crack she's gonna crack it was like when your ass was all wet and you were like <laughs> crying <laughs> They fall. They fall in the like, rain. Today's not my day. I was like, it's fine. Like, do you want to stay here? No. Like, and then I was like, <laughs> I just feel like no one wants me here because I had never been on a set. I had no skills of any kind. I was like, why am I here? And then I was like, <laughs> maybe I'll ask if I can like get more involved in the social media. And I went. And I was like, can I? Can I? Uh, like run the social media accounts? And they were like, no. <laughs> I was like, okay. I'm like, don't oh, you know who she is? She could do she could do this. Um but yeah, it was I mean, if <laughs> I like that you're going the more comedic route. This seems like your 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 niche. But I mean, if there's anything happening on set, I'd love to still bring you on. I can't do anything. I don't think you understand how few skills you can, I possess. But literally being a PA <laughs> is being coffee. a bitch. Yeah. It's, it's just whatever we ask you. I mean, I'm the nicest coordinator or producer you'll ever meet. But like. True. Th- there's other nice producers. But what I'm saying is PA work. You literally. All you have to do is what they ask. Hey, can you like get this talent's dry cleaning? Sure thing. Let's no, go. I hear you. <laughs> but then like. Okay. So I was working and. And. Katie was like, "Can you mail this letter?" And then I was like, "Oh my god, do I just drop it in the mailbox?" <laughs> I pay, I pay all my bills online, <laughs> and then I've only ever mailed things from my home where I have a mailbox. So right. I didn't know how to. Do, I was like, "Do I have to go find a mailbox and put it in there?" And she's like, "Yeah." <laughs> and I was like, "How am I going to survive out here in the world? It, I can't you, mail a letter." And then you asked me to deposit a check. I'm like, "Okay, so I just go in. Go and I'm like, bank. can I deposit this check?" I'm like, "Just walk in and." <laughs> Uh, can them the check I and was that's coddled. It. wait for the receipt <laughs> that's it. it i know no it's not even like a coddle thing this is what you should fucking learn in school anyway like basic how living to how to make a ch- how to write a check how to drop you off a letter who writes you know letters write. nowadays but production we still do i guess or we need to you know it's basic stuff no, but and then like <laughs> i would be sitting there no absolutely nothing to do and then someone texts like can so, can one of the pas go on a run and i'm like oh, i can i can do it and they're like okay great can you go to Dwayne reed and pick up almond milk <laughs> and i'm like <laughs> fucking sure <laughs> i already know who that is or whole milk it was whole milk let me I, we can't say name but yeah it was whole milk. <laughs> i did a lot of liquor store runs yeah we made great cocktails on thursdays we got s- or you i like to think that that was the best training i received in that uh we six months stint because i made a lot of cocktails you did um i did a lot of shaking i did you a lot of tried mixing. a lot, a lot of, of new stuff too <laughs> i know yeah you were a good modeler uh, there was, 
<laughs> That's what they say. You just, you know, I you you mentioned being a picky eater, so you were also a picky drinker, but you tried a lot of shit. And yeah, I'll try it. Like it's once. alcohol. <laughs> of course, oh, Coquito did change my life though. That's just so, so delicious it's so easy. and delectable. It's, anyone should make it. I know the Puerto Ricans listening to this or any Hispanic knows Coquito is like the, the just the is god it a Christmas of thing? A Christmas? eggnog. It's, oh yeah, okay. it's way better than eggnog. Eggnog's yeah, and eggnog <laughs> kind of freaks me out because the word is so disgusting. Eggnog nog. doesn't sound appealing or like tasty. Slob on me nog. <laughs> <laughs> Slob on me nog. Um, um, I'm having. <laughs> this is hitting me. I think I've, I'm, I didn't eat. I anyway. haven't eaten. <laughs> yeah. Um, I uh, am having Friendsgiving on Sunday, Cute. and I'm in charge of the turkey. I'm a really good cook. You're did you know char- that about me? No, I I'm not. such a good cook. I love cooking. Mm. You so should make pesto. What, do you make pesto at all? Of course. Okay. <laughs> do I make pesto? <laughs> Doesn't even require any cooking. I want to put <laughs> things in a food processor. Okay, well, I want to try that. I want to try your pesto. So next time. Yeah, I'm. I'm tonight. I'm making uh, penne vodka. Okay. All right. <laughs> nice. Um, but the turkey. Sorry, I'm making the turkey, which is big, big deal for me. I've never like roasted a turkey like this. Well, I'm actually just doing a turkey breast. I'm not doing a whole turkey. Oh, there's okay. only like five of us, so I was like, I'm not gonna fucking purchase a bird. Yeah. No. And then learn how to carve it. No, that's no. a lot. And then there's like the neck and the ass. Isn't well, like people <laughs> really like the heart. Ew. What? It My comes cousin with always it? eats the. Yeah. The, it comes just like a, just like a skinned turkey. I mean, I think no head. But. Wait, and the, the organs are in the body? I, I guess. I never see. I never made a turkey. I don't know. Either. This is where I only know this <laughs> stuff because I watch on TikTok. I get a lot of people. Uh. Raw. Are you serious? I don't. Are you <laughs> dipping? It's done. Oh. <laughs> you literally just had it over your shoulder. Sorry. Um, um, I get a lot of people on my For You page that raw feed their dogs. Oh my god! I heard roofied. Okay, no, raw feed. Raw feed okay, dogs, <laughs> and they they'll like buy a turkey for the for the guts to give it to their Ooh. dog. They're like, now I'm gonna give Sylvester <laughs> a heart. <laughs> and <Here's> some my <laughs> my cane corso is getting two kangaroo hearts. I'm like, are we serious? Some fish oil. No, it's fish oil. Yeah, it's always fish that's oil. always a part Eggshell of the shell membrane. <laughs> it's so crazy. And like two raw eggs and two quail eggs and it's vitamins for the day. <laughs> for your fur baby <laughs> i mean i support whatever you got to do to make yourself sleep Why at night. Not? i don't judge parenting unless you're beating the shit the shit out of the kid or the animal in front of me do you do you feed your cats fancy shit um i try but they're so unappreciative you know um is like it I, out of a can is it wet I get that's what they mostly eat but then there's one day where I'm like I'm gonna make my baby salmon I have two like Persian cat like Persian kitties that I got off Craigslist oh, remind so me of the I, they adopt they were adopted um Tico and Vinny everyone I know I've, this is like the mul- like multiple if time I've heard people get cra- cats off Craigslist really mm-hmm. no there's tons why not adopt one don't and, and they're like four shop. dollars yeah, mine were not. I wish they were fucking four dollars. This woman was moving to Texas. She had a mission. She's like, I'm taking the mom. The mom was like almost a grand. She was a calico Persian. Take her kids. <laughs> Take her sons. Three fifty each. And I was like, three fifty. I know they were nine months, but they were so cute. You see, pictures. Though, that's a lot cheaper than a dog. I know. I'll, yes, I'll tell you that. And a Persian cat. You know how much they cost. They're, are they? They are expensive. My, You've my, seen uh, my kids. You know I how know cute you they love are. Your kids. Um. My friend Sarah wants a wants a Maine Coon. Ooh, those which are, are cute. Super expensive because they're like really mm. specialty. Breed. She should just find a long haired tabby on the street. They kind of I know. Look the well, same. when I lived in the Bronx, they were everywhere. Just snag one. So snag many one. people I knew had cats because they would just let the cats from the streets like in. Aww. It's kind of nice because they if you have mice, they yeah, really, it really ugh. takes care of it. But then also I'd be scared of like getting bit by them because they're like diseased cats from the street. Yeah, to just clean them up. Just take them <laughs> to like Petco. Where do they clean those? The vet? I don't know. The vet. Um, <laughs> I'm getting it. I'm I'm gonna rescue a dog. You are bringing it here. You're gonna have it here in this apartment. Yeah. Because you know I do Rover. Yeah, you ro- whoa, whoa, whoa. Rover, <laughs> Rover. Rover. Oh, Rover. A Rover. Yes, I, I do. I dog know. sit. I love that. And then every time they leave me, I cry. So I said, it's time. Time to get a baby. Get a yeah, pupper. I'm going to wait till next year because I'm just like, 
you know, going home for Thanksgiving and Christmas. But when I get back to the city. Enjoy <laughs> your freedom now. I feel like a dog is, I mean, I love dogs. I love all animals. Well, but I plan on rescuing not a puppy, which I think is a lot of people's really, like, fatal mistake. Yeah. Is they're, like, in their 20s and they're like, I'm going to get a puppy. Puppies are so hard it's a baby you're it's literally baby and you it. really like unlike a cat you really have to train them to get the temperament you want yeah so it's i think it's a lot easier to like rescue a dog and meet them and then mm-hmm. and then meet a, find a dog that has the temperament you want right and then it probably only takes them what like a month to adjust yeah it's, not that it's, i'm i'm generalizing i'm sure a lot i know a lot of like rescue dogs it's have patient it, or like issues. even Get a trainer. Like, fuck it. Just spend the money if you have it. Get a trainer so you don't even have to do it. Why not? My friend, Claudia. I love Claudia. She's so funny. Um, she, I remember she went to L.A. And this woman on the street was selling these, like, little small chihuahua looking dogs. Oh, that's so, you're not supposed to buy dogs from, like, the parking lot. Well, she did. <laughs> oh, yeah. and I love Benny with all my heart. But Benny was, he was so tiny. Now he's two or three years old. This dog, this motherfucker shits everywhere. She's no. like, my little poopsies. Like, Ew, no. I don't fuck with that one. But I'm like, Claudia, can you train it? Like, this yeah, thing poops everywhere. train your dog. And she's like, that's my king. Like, he <laughs> can just do it. Love that she loves it for her. But, uh, um... <laughs> <laughs> One of the dogs I watch is trained on puppy pads, and I think even that is gross. Oh, yeah, I don't like that. Ew, like, I'm going to step on it. I'm going to eventually, I don't look at the ground ever, so <laughs> I'm stepping on shit. At least it's, yeah, the dog's trained, and it's easily, like, clean upable, but it's still, like, there's piss in your house, you I know? don't want a pile of your poo in my room, like, <laughs> or in my living, just anywhere. I don't want to v- see it. No visual. Even if I walk you, I don't, I'm going to look away so you could do your business. I, I don't know how people just stare at their dog doing that <laughs> i feel bad i'm Give like it's anxious <laughs> it's literally looking at you like yes i guess i'm gonna do it i've read you. somewhere that when a dog poops and they look at you that means like they recognize you they as trust their, you their, their, yeah like, yeah you're, you're like, their I'm guard watch it no yeah <laughs> watch it come out watch <laughs> <laughs> okay this the topic was supposed to be thanksgiving <laughs> and we're talking about dog shit dog shit thanksgiving oh i'm tired what do you do oh you're going home i'm going home on monday nice you're flying up right yeah and then i my roommate's already gone so i was like why the fuck did i wait till monday like i should have just left you know what i'm saying but then this wouldn't happen true true um but so i'm like just gonna fuck around for the next two days and then i go home i'm so excited have a place to yourself are you if you're not doing anything tomorrow I mean, this is <laughs> making all, plans on I'm the pod. I'm really trying not to burp again. I am like super gassy. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to this big techno festival. I don't know. I would know. literally. I love you so much, Amanda. I would literally rather take a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on! Can we just all picture her going dressed all in black and like shades and no, just what <laughs> like fucking. <laughs> you'll be it'll be fun no i can't i can't do that one day i'll force you no even you invited me to your show tonight and i was like i'd love to go and then it starts at midnight yeah. i won't be there <laughs> i love Same you marks. so much i mean i won't be there <laughs> midnight it's yeah. I'm, I'm already asleep that's when everyone's drunk and they all want to come to a show i bet actually they're Saint just marks. coming from the bar yeah, yeah. but it will be me coming like Right from, from my apartment. <laughs> like, why am I out of my house right now? Right. Yeah. No. There's. It's not worth going downtown for that. Next time. There's. There'll be other shows. That's. That's the only times I've ever done stand up li- live comedy is because Amanda has either gotten me a gig or just thrown you on stage. Yeah. That's the goal. <laughs> I have to just throw her or like you know we gotta hit more mics, practice jokes. You're I good. Know. You're fucking amazing. So. Oh. Thanks. And you already have like these cuckoo for Cocoa Puff people that love you and like will support you too. I know, that's why I am actually like I I would hope that after a few more open mics I actually get like booked somewhere because I will I think I will be able to bring a couple people. Well, tonight, in. if you would have came next time, you'll meet them. You'll I meet can't. them next time. I even invited her to the 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 stand for the comedy festival for New York City. They had a whole big ass party. People from SNL there. People from like all over. Is that when my butt was broken? Yes. Yeah. Yes. How is your ass? <laughs> oh, my, my ass is great. I was on some <laughs> crazy drugs. I couldn't have drank. So you couldn't even sit. Mean? Could you not sit in a wheelchair and pull up? Are you serious? <laughs> no, I was seriously only okay if I was standing straight up or laying down. Sitting was Ooh. not an option. <laughs> You're like that sucks. Yeah. Do you sit on a bag of peas? 
No, I oh, actually, yeah, <laughs> I did. It was a bag of Asian stir fry veggie Ooh, medley. Ooh, Trader Joe's. <laughs> Ooh, a brand. Um, and and I was on crazy drugs, and I could not have drank I or even drugs. remembered it. Can I say that day. on here? Oh. No, yeah, I you said can. it already. Okay. We, we've been new, man. Yeah. <laughs> we've been new. I love me some drugs, but I'm. I now see why a lot of comedians are sober. Because I mean, I've been doing this for seven years now, but I've had self it's something called self-control you know where people are like you want to do cocaine in the bathroom and i'm like i'm working no thank you <laughs> i'm working right now maybe after i know but I even think maybe <laughs> a lot of people feel like they're when you get told that you're like oh you're a fun drunk then you're like i have to be drunk to no oh i cannot be drunk on stage i get not so just nervous drunk, but like okay like hi on coke or whatever yeah no no, no, then, no, no, no then no, no, now no. you're thinking you have to or like let's say you do coke you have a great show you're like now i need coke to do a show and I then that's the 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 road you go down. Yeah, I mean, I'm a I, I, weed isn't really drugs. I guess I I love smoking weed, but I'll do it like maybe one little hit, and then I go up. But for the most part, I'm sober like ninety seven percent percent of the time. Yeah, I'm not because you're you're writing your well, shit. I'm s- I mean, I've only done it. <laughs> yeah, well, you're not twice. drunk. And the times I've seen you, you weren't. You know, you I were have fun. me a drink. Yeah, just actually one? one time I did stand up with Amanda, and I fully had COVID, but I didn't know. Mm, yeah i remember that <laughs> i can't believe you didn't get it no i was chilling I was i'm already like sick fully uh, i'm already ill head. let me stop kill me okay um cut the cameras <laughs> um yeah no that was a good time and and it was the first time i ever i ever did any live comedy ever you were like i'm so nervous i'm like bitch you're you just talk to your phone and you're i know but ready. it was just like it was the fact that it was like i was nervous and i i felt like fucking shit because i had covid yeah i yeah, was like yeah. oh my god i need to go to bed right now like, remember I'm when we ate before remember the restaurant where it was we like a bunch after queen oh after yeah. Ooh, i smoked too much um yeah we ate and then there was like so many problems with that restaurant yeah they like asked us to leave and then they were like just getting come back it was cash only so i used the atm to get cash out they, my card got canceled because like i've never used an atm it's like, how dare you use this peasant machine on this no, card? No, it's, it's dead ass. So they were like, oh, well, you just haven't used an ATM in over a year, so we canceled your card. How and I was like, are they? you serious? Canceled? Like, like new Locked card? Locked it. Oh, okay. I had to call my bank, get unlocked. And I found out it was locked because the next day I took the train to <laughs> to Columbus Circle and then I was trying to get back and I couldn't, nothing was working, my Apple Pay, nothing. And then I had to call the bank and I was like, I'm stranded in Columbus Circle. It was well, such you a... Know how to the, the, this is life lessons you're learning that oh, they don't I, teach oh, you I school. Learned life lessons. Call the bank. <laughs> call they the don't bank. Don't teach you how to call the bank. I'm using an ATM, motherfucker. Don't lock my shit. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, we called you to ask to verify your identity, and I was like, no, you didn't. No one called me. <laughs> I would have verified it. What do you mean? Okay. Anyway, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs> Anywho, oh Black Friday. Black Are Friday. you? Do you have any plans? No, I've never gone Black Friday shopping <laughs> once in my life. What? No, have you heard of Cyber Monday? Why the fuck That's would I leave my house? I feel like there's Black Friday happening right now. You see those Black yeah, Friday no, sales are. and like I'm, Black that's Friday a, sale that's happening. A, that's a culture tradition trend that I'm okay if it dies. Black Friday. Yeah. I don't yeah. care if people don't line up and go Black Friday shopping anymore. That's the worst way to go too. So many people die on that day. Yeah, right. That's pathetic. Uh, like I'm a Best sorry. Buy or whatever. Ooh. Sorry if anyone's family. Um, <laughs> Cut the cameras. <laughs> I'm listen. I I've only gone. You know, I try to stay up with my mom so she could take me as a kid. And she was like, yeah, you'll go. And then she would never take me ever. So by the time I. Yeah, I I don't know. It's it's fun, I guess. It's just you got to be there at like 5 a.m. I don't see how it could be fun. I just like visually seeing my shit online i'm like oh can't imagine how many boxes go through but i'll still do the online shopping to your house and it's like christmas (sighs) true true i'm just old school i just like going there myself i hear my ikea bags some people it's like their family traditions they like they're in them them and their siblings like go black friday shopping like more power to you i just will never ever ever do that like i'm never camping like parents that do that should get fucking exiled or like oh, executed oh, like don't camping out. camp I out of meant, target I thought, you meant, I thought you were just like sharing with me that you've never been camping no like, like camping outside of a fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah, walmart yeah. like are you insane are mm. you that delulu yeah that's nuts that's oh nuts my, my thanksgiving evening 
Like my family leaves, it's like eight, you know, whatever. The house oh, is empty because wow. we host Thanksgiving. We eight Thanksgiving. PM? We ate. We eat so early. What is that? With some white people with? time, man. With holidays and eating early. Christmas, we go to my grandma's and dinner's always at like three. Are you fucking? Yeah, kidding I'm not even me? hungry. I just had breakfast. My mom is waking up at that. Time. No, <laughs> like dead <laughs> ass. I th- I agree, but um, um. Hispanics like to party. We were like, all right, dinner starts at eight when really Puerto Rican time. It's like 9 p.m. all of a sudden and we're eating and then it's going to like 4 a.m. and everyone's dancing and salsa music is blaring. Oh, and it's fun though. It's, yeah, it's a cute little party. And I'm like, all right, well, it's 4 a.m. Aren't we going Black Friday shopping? Why is everyone still here? She gave um, me her I forgot to set a timer, so I don't even know. I don't know. We're just we Do you have your phone on you? No, it's a way. Okay, I'm a good too. guest. Okay. Well, I guess we can. Ra- I guess we'll wrap, wrap it up. Yeah, we can wrap. Um, Magic is like 20 minutes. And <laughs> oh, mine's usually 40. Okay. Well, s- so I think we're good. I think we've probably hit we're good. 40. I hope I. I hope I look okay. I'm tipsy. <laughs> <Don't> we all. <laughs> um. Okay. What are your parting thoughts about Thanksgiving? Um. Parting thoughts. Um. Besides it being a crazy, brutal, historical holiday, um. I love the food, and I love the fact that I get <laughs> close <laughs> with my family that time of year, and my friends, and we eat white people food, and it's great. And I'm grateful and thankful, and thankful for you. Thank you for having me, Julia. Oh, that was that was good. <laughs> I'm thankful for Amanda. Um. And Eating my ass. Why don't you? Like? It, it really, <laughs> truly is like my favorite type of food. Like good hot home cooked fucking mm. beige potatoes Ooh. and marshmallows. Who I do, thought? I do, I know. White people are really whack, <laughs> uh, putting fucking marshmallows on their potatoes. Right. But I'm not complaining. And it is the season to be thankful, right? We all could be use gra- gratitude. Mm-hmm. Gratitude with some attitude and some. Who do I need to call to pick you up? <laughs> um, uh, thank you so much for coming, Amanda. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. No. Happy Black Friday. <laughs> Black Friday. Have a safe Black Friday. Have a safe Black Friday. Hope you all had a healthy, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you all stayed safe and loved. ASMR. That's a wrap. <laughs> it's the Pesto Pod, the Pesto Pod, the Pesto Pod.